It was on the streets that he first honed his creative talents, adorning the walls of abandoned factories and railroads before receiving a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from the University of Madrid. Okuda's work can be classified as pop surrealism with a clear essence of street art or urban art. His artwork is composed of geometric prints and multicolored ephemeral architectures that blend with gray bodies and organic forms. These pieces of artwork often raise contradictions about existentialism, the universe, the infinite, the meaning of life, and the false freedom of capitalism. Okuda's beliefs revolve around his freedom to create art and stay positive. He does not believe in religion, but believes that God is inside of every individual. The best way to live life is to be a good and peaceful person. Okuda concludes that his major accomplishments lie in having the freedom to travel around the world creating his best works of art alone, in working, and the living experiences with other artists from different cultures. And now, he's bringing his towering new artwork to Edmonton, and we are asking you to help us bring Okuda's dynamism to Edmonton's visual landscape. Hey everyone, I'm here with my good buddy Mike. Mike and I have known each other for quite some time. Uh, a few things I can tell about Mike, he's been an entrepreneur since he was nine. 19. Uh, filmmaker, very creative guy. And another thing I know about Mike is that he is Edmontonian all the way. One of the biggest Oiler fans, I think I know. He is also uh, an avid lover of 80s, cheesy 80s action flip films. I grew up on him. Another thing about Mike is that he is the, the founder, the creator of Holy Roller, El Cortez and Have Mercy here on the Old Strathcona. And he is doing a really cool initiative to raise funds to bring art to Edmonton in a really, really cool way. So I'm helping him out with an event that we're doing here on July 1st called Vibrancy. And it's a yoga class right here on this patio with musicians and then we're going to have brunch mimosas well uh, like you said uh, I grew up at Edmonton and have been a working artist here for now 15 years that's actually how I met Andy on a film project back in the day I don't know if you know this but Andy used to be a full-time working actor Hi. I used to be a director and the first uh, few music projects I shot were with Andy. Mm -hmm. I actually cut my teeth shooting concerts for his old band Sugarcane. <laughs> and now we're embarking on a new venture to um, beautify the city, to infuse it with some international art uh, by an artist named Okuda San Miguel. My name is Okuda San Miguel. <laughs> One of the most prolific uh, modern artists in the world today and we are working to raise some money to bring him here to paint a six-story mural on the side of the building we're currently standing on. Andy and I are right now on the six-story rooftop of the Crawford Block building in Old Strathcona and the north facing wall right now is all grey brick. It's nice and all but it will be so much nicer if it's painted with an Okuda San Miguel mm -hmm. mural. So in order to raise this kind of money which is a lot 85 grand or more, uh, you gotta get creative. So I started calling out, uh, reaching out to my old friends to see what kind of support uh, I'd be able to generate. And uh, Andy graciously uh, proposed the idea of teaching a yoga class on this roof. And then afterwards, we'll host a brunch downstairs in the Holy Roller. And you know, that would be, if we could sell it out, it would be a mass, it would go a huge way and be a massive contribution to making this uh, mural a reality in Edmonton. Uh, I think culture is important and vital to a sustainable economy in any city. In a boom bust uh, city where uh, you're relying on um, oil oil or industry or technology, you're going to go up and down. But any sort of city that has a sustainable economy has a, is really grounded in, in rich artistic culture. Mm -hmm. um, whether that's Austin, Portland, New York, Toronto, Montreal, uh, Vancouver, etc. Art is a priority in those cities. They're covered with uh, beautiful artwork, murals, sculptures. Uh, they have deep artistic history. They have vibrant live music scenes, film communities, film festivals, all that stuff is imperative to uh, developing and sustaining a really vibrant city that people want to live in, whether they're you know, in a, in a boom, economic boom or not. And uh, this is, you know, Edmonton has been transitioning that way in a positive way for the last few years. And I really think that this will go up a further, uh, make a, a further impact on establishing Edmonton as an international caliber progressive city. The further division after this, do you see it growing into the rest of the Ave in the back of the alley or? 
something yeah, like that? Absolutely. Once you have one or two successes in something anywhere, it usually builds a momentum. And once people see the impact of it, and, and they just see how much it, it improves their life or their uh, their pride for the city, I believe they'll want to do more of them. And and we're actually partnered with a, a, a street art mural festival mm -hmm. called Rust Magic. And if we're fortunate enough to raise more than the cost of the Okuda mural, 100% of that money will go to their festival to add more murals, outside murals to the city. Um, and if, if, if this project is, is a success, uh, we're going to try to do it again next year to put, bring more murals to other parts of town. Mm -hmm. And the hope is to color in, you know, this largely gray and beige uh, building city uh, with inspired original art. Mm -hmm. So the tickets, uh, we set them at $75. Oh, so we got drinks. brunch, you got a live yoga event with music, and you got food, you got uh, mimosa. But more importantly, you get to contribute to an amazing, an amazing art uh, being installed here. Also, you get to do yoga on this yeah. beautiful, epic rooftop. And I know the wide-angle lens doesn't really get, do it justice for, for the sight lines of the skyline and Old Strathcona. Um, it's really an impressive place to be. I eat lunch up here almost every day. Um, it's inspiring to get up high, look out at the world. Uh, I couldn't imagine uh, anything better than a yoga class taught by Andy up here. Awesome. Anything else you want to share? Just that uh, the support we, we've received so far is humbling. Um, we're about a quarter of the way there. It's so sincerely appreciated. But we have a GoFundMe page, but our, we have a website called Okuda, A-K-U-D-A-Y-E-G.com. And you can buy tickets to the yoga event there. You can buy tickets to our fundraising dinner, which is this Wednesday. And you can just donate onto the GoFundMe page. Awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope I can see many, many of you here. It's going to be a beautiful morning. Uh, July 1st at 9 a.m. Tickets are 75 bucks. You can go on to the Eventbrite that I'll link at the bottom of this YouTube video. Let's sell out both yoga classes. Peace. Good. So this is what you got to look forward to after a beautiful yoga practice on the roof. Uh, we'll come down here and enjoy brunch. We'll have a mimosa. The music is always amazing. Awesome company. Hope to see you guys here. Cheers. Cheers. So this is the wall where the installation is going up. And I think it's a real gift that Mike, Max, and the Merchant Group are giving to Edmonton. Obviously, they need your support. This can't go up without, without it, so if you can Come to the event, that'd be great, but if you can't, you can still donate on their GoFundMe page, and I'll put that on the link below as well.